Hello, this is Broy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, playing as Columbia. A very long, thin strand of Columbia. Trying to work on Argentina here, and uh, it's easier said than done. I mean, they very formidable at this point, and really the best thing we got going for us is just to, or best plan, I guess, right now is to just buckle down, try and win the War of Attrition, and find a time that we can... Uh, Kind of really push on them in advance. We just finished up all of our land doctrine, which is pretty helpful. Some really good bonuses there. Would be good to go down some of the artillery stuff. Uh, armor at some point. Maybe armor would be helpful to help punch into some of these places. Give us our give our, some of our units some breakthrough. Could be useful. Um, probably a good idea to go ahead and come up to the uh, mechanized stuff. Start producing some of that, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, could come down here to some of this. Kind of like in this bottom one to give us uh, more special forces. I don't know. Plus they train faster. I don't know. Feels feels kind of nice. Let's come down here. Let's pick up some of these. I like the special forces. And we haven't been doing a very good job with our special forces. We let a lot of them die. Very sillily. If you want to go back and see why that happened um, and laugh at me, by all means. I, I, will, I, will, I will accept your laughter. But hey, like I said, learning, I guess. Little by little. Um, start working on some of the rocket stuff. You know, our oil situation keeps fluctuating. Let's start working on some of the oil stuff. Make sure that's not a problem we have to worry about. Plus the rubber. You know, synthetic rubber, things like that would be useful. They're punching in a little bit here. More power to them, I suppose. Just try and keep holding where we can. It's tempting to abandon the Venezuelan line entirely and just come down here, but... I don't know. I'm afraid that would be a lot of... Um, because what if Venezuela decided to start something? Which I doubt that they will, but you never know. Like, they're not just fine or anything like that against us, right? Like, we wouldn't know. They're actually trying to improve relations with us. But I still think it might be a little crazy to bring all these guys down here. Like, how many troops do we need for one on each spot? Eight, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Yeah, that's one. So we could bring a couple more down. It's not a lot, but it's a start. Grab like some of you seasoned guys and attach you down here. Just you know, help a little bit. Every little bit helps. It's the manpower. And what do we need to do to get this other thing? We're at 10%. To get 20%, we need 70% war support. So I just don't think that's going to happen. We're up to war economy. We don't have the 40, 50% war support that I need for that yet. Close. We're very, very slowly getting there. Actually, once we bounce back from the uh, war heroes being killed, we actually will probably be okay. She's got so many weak units along the border here. We're just really having a hard time defending a lot of this because it's just so long. Um, let's stretch you guys out a little bit. Uh, wrong button. A bit, and then um, we're going to pull the green line in a little bit. 
Just so you guys have a little bit less to defend. It's not much, but I mean, a couple more units spread around other places might be helpful. Although we're about to lose that province, so never mind. Yeah, I just don't know if there's anything we can do here. We just don't have a way to get more manpower to uh, to flip this around at all. I think we are we are going to end up losing the war of attrition when it's all said and done. We may be killing slightly more of their units than they're killing of ours. 100,000 right now. But they are... They just they have a pool of manpower. 160,000 manpower right now. Our front line got a little weird. Hopefully it closes back up here in a second. Hopefully push back there. Fair enough. Um, let's just grab you guys and give your front line. Just stretch it up here a little bit. We'll give it a little bit of overlap. I think you guys are fine with just the too wide front line for now. I mean, every little bit of give and take here and there, it's just, it's it's a battle. It's, it's going to flip the attrition one way or the other. Sometimes in our favor, sometimes in theirs. All right, modify government. Really not much for us to modify at this point. I mean, we could plug in a chief of the Navy just because, but why? Um, I don't think there's anything else here that would make any difference at all. Division defense, I mean, could be useful. I went with division speed, but honestly, the division defense could... Could be critical for what we're doing right now. So maybe. Higher organization. Yeah, let's go with the defense for a little bit. Could also just join the... Uh, go ahead and join the German faction finally. And just get their support in this war. But just really trying to avoid that. Now they're punching in up here. More power to them. We have some bonuses. Cavalry expert. I think the combat arms expert with some extra defense is a great idea. All things considered. We don't really have any infantry divisions right now. Um, I guess we'll go ambusher. Probably slightly okay for a cavalry general. I mean, it's starting to climb a little bit more against them. Very, very slowly. Not not a lot, though. And they're, they are starting to push back here and there and win a lot of these key battles. But really, we're just trying to get our strength back up. Just e easier said than done. Probably a good idea to cancel all of these at this point. Get the influx of units back. I didn't realize we had that many units just sitting there. I mean, they're going to get swelled up immediately. But 
You know, hey, that make our current units stronger is obviously way better than building new units. There goes the manpower. Going away very, very quickly. But hey, you just put 30,000 more troops back on the line. That's a pretty significant jump. Oh, we lost this airfield up here, didn't we? Didn't we have this one at one point? Maybe we haven't had it in a while. I'm thinking of something else. Thinking something else. I was like, what is that symbol? I can't even tell what that symbol is. It just says Fourth Province, but there's like a little thing there. I don't know. Hey, we can start building some forts here, but it feels a little like backwards from what we're trying to do. We're up to 48% war support, so we're getting close to that war economy thing that we can pick up. This is our best commander. I should probably move him over here. That probably is a good idea. Let's grab you. Move you here. We'll put the other guy here. That's going to be fine. That'll work for now. Um, how are we looking? Still losing a few spots. Still winning. Well, not really winning anything at the moment. Like, we're not getting the air um, coverage in a lot of these battles right now. All right, so there's our fuel storage gone up. That's the ability to get some synthetic stuff, which I think is probably a decent idea. Get some synthetic rubber and things like that. Germany wants us to join their faction again. I mean, are there... I'm assuming they're currently in a war, right? Uh, that's not what I wanted. I want... Like how do I see other wars? Current wars. Yeah, Germany's currently at war with Ireland. I don't know. Maybe it's the right decision to join the German faction. I was really hoping to at least clean up this stuff. But kind of need some support at this point. Whatever. Let's try it. I got no other ideas. We'll join the, the Axis. A lot of people are going to declare war on us now, though. Probably a really bad idea. Oh, I should have seen if America was at war with him first before I did all of that mess. Yep, we're going to be at war with America now. Yeah, that might have been a really bad idea. It's too late to leave a faction. I don't even know how to find the faction. Look, I really don't want America to declare war on us right now. Um, I honestly don't know how to... Oh, there we go. Leaf faction. I don't know. Maybe we can join it again later. I just don't want America to declare one of right now. I'm hoping we did that in time. Because I, I didn't think about America. Did not think about the United States. Now, what we could do is probably start some lend lease and things like that with uh, Germany, potentially. You know, might as well.
Ah, oh, we don't have anything there. Oh, there we go. Start land lease. Request land lease. Eh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm just going to ignore Germany for the moment. I, I was not even thinking about the United States. Do not want to be at war with them. We're no longer guaranteed by the United States, though. So, I don't know. That's a thing. The United States is supporting them through land lease. Hopefully we didn't just goof things too badly. That We might have. We might have. About 130,000 more troops lost than us at the moment. I'm going to go up to speed 4 right now. There's really not a lot going on right this second. Really just trying to get our strength back. Like very defensive at the moment. Get all of our strength back and then maybe we can do something after that. If we get our strength back, we, we can start pushing again. And I think if we start... If we get our strength back to the point where we, where we can push, then I think we can finish this off. How much they got left? Still 160,000. They're still so strong on the manpower side of things. Uh, so import request. Insufficient resources. I think we'll be okay for now. We get 2,000 each month that goes away immediately. Hmm. Interesting. Still holding. I mean, they're still doing a little attacks here and there. They're, we're, we're holding them off. I mean, they've bunched out a little bit here and there. So they're, they're in back in their own territory a little bit more. Pushed us back a little bit. They really want this tile right here, apparently. They seem to be holding okay. Pretty decently strong unit there. Nineteen forty-six. What's the next research coming up? What's the next thing that's going to really help us out? I mean, recon will help a little bit. A lot of these uh air unit things are going to be helpful, like quite a bit helpful. All right, so that's done. Um, I mean, I guess we might as well come to here. Why not? Even more reconnaissance. All right, let's unclick the decision that we're just not going to take. I don't think we're going to do any of this stuff right now. Improve working conditions. I mean, that does give us back some more increased stability, which is nice. Very nice. And I might do that one. I don't think I need that one pop up. The land appropriation. I don't want to lower my war support right now. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that one as well. But once that other one comes up, we might pick that up just to get a little bit more stability back. I mean, presumably we have air superiority right now, right? I mean, I don't know if we can't really see a... Okay, pause for a second. Battle going on right here. We're attacking... Uh, they're attacking us from multiple directions. We don't have air superiority here. Oh, because all we have is close air support right down there. Um, there's our fighters right there. They're too far away. Eh, fair enough. But we're holding right now. Um, I think we're going to be okay. 
are all these air units doing, like, currently? What is their current planned actions? Just close air support, really. Which I think is fine. Could bring in some more wings right now, but we're trying to hold back on the the uh, manpower a little bit. Oh, we've got an ace here. Very cool. Better naval targeting, which doesn't really help us. Better agility and ground attack factor. That's pretty cool. And that helps. All right, guys, just keep holding on. Just, just for now. Just really trying to win this war of attrition for right now. They're up to 634, so they're starting to lose a lot more troops now. I think we're our defense is starting to work very slowly, although they're about to win this one pretty, pretty handedly. They pushed us back there. Down to 145 to 200. For all we know, they haven't even tapped into some of the better, you know, manpower laws and things like that. They may have, still have a ton of manpower available to come up and, and kind of put in there. If we had the manpower, I'd be tempted to go against Paraguay here. Do a quick little battle here and uh, take them out pretty quickly because they don't have... They have a decent number, so they have enough. But it's not like the manpower they have would be able to add to our pool and really help us out that much. We'd probably spend more trying to take that than we would get manpower from them. About to lose that unit. It's really low on manpower right now. That one as well is really, really low. Got the garrison unit in there to kind of help out a little bit. And some of our Mountaineer divisions are starting to come up a little bit. They're about 30, 30, 40% maybe uh, strength at the moment. I think if we get them to like a double manpower loss compared to us, like we've done with some of the other ones, I think that will make a pretty significant difference. They're about to be 200,000 up on us. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. Uh, when we come back, we'll just keep advancing technologies and things like that, trying to get a little bit of an edge here and see if we can finish off Argentina. I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.